All right, everybody, this is Dr. A again with one more tutorial for Communication 300. And yeah, let's maybe get started. So what we're going to learn today, folks, is going to be how we can produce a survey with Google Forms, which is going to be the system that we are going to be using to produce the, the survey for the Hashtag we are Lee you project. All right. So maybe what we need to do is to do exactly this. Let's maybe go and um, and go to Google Forms for you guys to see how this is done. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do before anything is to make sure that you log in to your Google page, which here I'm already logged in with my personal account. So you have to log in to your Google page first. Okay. Now I'm already logged in. So then you have to go then go to Google and then type Google Forms. And all right, so Google Forms is going to allow you to click on their site. And literally all that we have to do is to, um, yeah, go to Google Forms. And if you are already logged in with your Gmail account, right, then this is going to take you then to your um, Google Forms account, right? Which, by the way, we have um, some stuff in here. I have some forms that I have produced uh, over the years and all, all that kind of stuff. So, but anyways, what we may want to consider doing then, folks, if you want to produce this using uh, Google Forms, which we are going to use. It's just simple to do that way. The graphs that you can come up with, you believe it's very nice. Uh, for descriptive statistics, the stuff that we're going to be doing for the project. So all you have to do is to go and click the, this plus sign, okay? And of course, you have to have a name for your project. We're going to be using the hashtag WeAreLiU for our project. In here, just for sake of example, we're going to produce a survey about the calf, about the cafeteria, about the food in the cafeteria, and all that kind of stuff. Just this is an example. So the way of how a survey is done, I like it, survey is done, right? We spoke that in class. We need to come up with statements and then having a scale that goes from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Now, you could make that scale have a variance of five points, of seven points, sometimes even 10 points. What does that mean? So let's say they would do a survey with five point variance so there will be strongly agree is one point agree two points neutral three right strongly disagree or agree disagree i'm sorry and then strongly disagree so there will be five so let's produce a sample survey here folks using five point like a survey so let's um Let's name this form, this, this survey, the calf survey. I don't know, something like this. Let me put like a cafeteria. The cafeteria survey. So what would be one of the questions that we can kind of ask, right, for us to be able to make that work? And let's say, um, let's see, come up with like a statement here. Uh, let's, see, let's, let's see if maybe folks go to the cafeteria in the first place. So let's maybe... Uh, Let's make this statement. I go to the cafeteria. <laughs> to spell here. Cafeteria. Um, I go to cafeteria on a regular basis, technically speaking, right? So suggestions. Oh, they actually have that. How oh, so nice to the multiple choice. So gonna add all. Look, it's actually easier for us, giving us a five point. <laughs> Like it scale here, so I'm gonna add it all. So look at that, look how cool this is. Strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. So I go to the cafeteria on a regular basis, very nice. So now let's make sure that this is a required question that folks have to answer. So let's then uh, duplicate this question and then just change the question, right? Because we need to do everything again. Look how cool and simple this is. So I go to the cafeteria on a regular basis. That may be a question. Maybe another question is, I eat salads at the cafeteria, right? I eat a salad or salad. So I eat a salad. Um, I eat a salad when going to the 
cafeteria. When I go to the cafeteria, there you go. I eat a salad when I go to, when I go <laughs> when I go to the cafeteria. I eat a salad when I go to the cafeteria. Strongly disagree, disagree, right? So then again, what we need to do after that is duplicate that question, and let's um, let's ask another question. So I don't know, like I eat the international food when I go to the cafeteria, hypothetically speaking, right? And that is, again, another question and so on. But do you see how simple this is? And because the, um, the, this project that we're doing for We Are Liu is going to be a project where we're trying to find out more about the population of the universe in a, like in a positive way, right? And we're going to be using a Likert scale to try to quantify that. Now, of course, that in here in Google Forms, you don't always have to use the multiple choice. But for this project, we will. All right? We're just going to use the multiple choice because we're really trying to come up with a Likert scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. It's going to be those 12 questions that we spoke in class, and I think that's wonderful. All right, so another thing that you guys may want to know, so when you click here on, on Untitled Form, I'm going to click in here. Notice that it automatically renames to the name of your survey. So it's the cafeteria survey, and that's cool. Now, the questions and the responses, they, 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 they of course, they, the, the, the responses match which questions we created, but it's actually a different view. Check this out. Let me click on response so you guys can see it. So, of course, there is no responses. We're going to kind of do one for you here in a minute so you guys can see how this is done but um but notice that it's actually a different menu we're gonna produce we're gonna take this quick three question survey here so you guys can see how this is done in a second but anyway so then this is the um our sample serving here you you, you don't have to necessarily put a description but if you want to do it it's just click it and, and type it kind of thing right and then um, if you click on preview, right, we can actually click on customize theme if you like. If you click on customize theme, technically, we could change the color of our survey. Can you see that? Check this out. We can even choose an, an image to put as a header in case you want to go that route and everything. You can change the background color. So you name it. You can do a lot of, um, a lot of customization for your survey. My recommendation is that you keep the the font as basic so that it's easy to read and folks can participate with ease. Very important. All right. But you can manipulate the theme of your survey. And you also can click on preview. So let's click on preview here, which opens uh, another link, right, for us to be able to preview this thing. So then let me uh, let me just answer this so you guys can see. I do go to the cafeteria on a strong base. I eat a salad and go to the cafeteria. I'm going to say agree. I eat international food when I go to the cafeteria. I'm strongly agree. I'm going to click submit. Okay? So there you go. Your response has been recorded. Very nice. So let's go back here again to our survey. And I'll check this out. I'm going to close this guy. Now we have a response. Now we can actually see how that actually looks. So let's click on the response. And look at how cool this looks, folks. That's why using this system the google form is so nice because look how cool this is it automatically produces these graphs for us what we can definitely use on their website that uh, communication to seven is producing and we're going to produce the research for it so everybody then has an opportunity to produce something uh, very productive for this project very real life actually so check this out very nice right and you may be saying, Professor, cool, we produce a survey, we can see the responses, we participated, changed the name, created the categories, changed the themes. Well, how do we actually share the survey with, with the students? And actually, it's actually very easy. Because if you click on send, you can do that in, in so many different ways. All right? So you can go straight to your email and just literally start typing the email for folks to be able to to take the survey, right? Which one of you guys are going to produce the, the survey in your Gmail account. Or if you prefer, which I recommend you guys doing this way, 
You click on the permalink, right, which is this long link you have in here, which, by the way, if you click on shorten URL, look at what happens. It automatically makes this easy for you. And then you can copy this guy and send this permalink to the emails, right, to the people that you know and everything for us to be able to make that work, folks. So once you, you copy um, this this email, not this email, <laughs> this URL that it can send to your emails, right? Or if you want to share to Facebook, for example, asking folks to participate, you can or Twitter, right? So you can share this link with um, friends, and we're going to do that by convenience for this uh, for this project. And it's that simple. You copy that, and there's a question of pasting an email and a text message, you name it. But I just want to make sure that you guys saw this because it's really simple to do. But you see how powerful this is? So I just wanted to produce a tutorial that um, so you guys have this on file. And tomorrow, of course, we're going to address this in class. But I felt that you should see how cool this is maybe the day before. All right. Again, this is Dr. Way again with one more tutorial for Communication 300. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in class. I'll see you guys next time.